This video will show you how to create the third type of roof support for your log cabin. Begin by going to your design library. Import four of these triangular parts. If you get this message, click yes, and while holding the control key, click on this part and drag it out three times. Mate this pin to one of the parts you have just inserted into the assembly. Mate this opening with the other pin, and then mate these surfaces as shown. Repeat this for the other side, but flip the direction of the triangle. You'll need to do the same with the two other triangles in the back, but for now, click OK to exit out of inserting mates. In the design library, insert this part titled Roof. Click on Mate. Then mate this face of the roof part to this face of the triangle part. Click OK to insert this mate. Do the same thing on the other side. Finally, move it into place by mating this top surface to this bottom surface. Click OK when you have done so. Repeat this process on the other side. Eventually, you will end up with an assembly that looks like this. Under Pins in the Design Library, import pins that are 20 millimeters long. Go back to the Design Library and insert pins that are 30 millimeters long. Mate the bottom of these pins to the top of the pin that's inside this hole. Then, mate this face of the pin to the hole to move the pin into place. Do the same thing with the shorter pins. Mate the bottom of this pin to the top of the pin in this hole, and then mate this face of the pin to this hole. Click OK when you have done this, then repeat this process for the other three holes. When you have done this, 
your assembly should look like this. Go into your design library and import the pins that are 15 millimeters long. If this message pops up, click yes. Then, holding the control key, click and drag these parts to create copies of them. You will need six of them. Click on this surface to mate to the bottom of the pin. Mate this face of the pin to this face of the roof support. Repeat this process for the other holes in the roof support part. Do this to both sides of the roof support part. Next, mate these pins to the triangular part as shown. Repeat this on the other side. And at this point, you can use a linear pattern to continue the rest. Click on this pin, then click on the linear pattern feature in the assembly tab. For the direction, pick this edge. Change the number of instances to 4, and change the distance between instances to 28. Click OK when you have done this. Repeat this on the other side. Click on Linear Component. For the direction, pick this edge. Click on Components to Pattern and pick this pin. Click OK. Now you just need to do the same thing to the other side of the roof you should end up with an assembly that looks like this. Click on Save. 